Hi everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to restore Active Directory objects that have been accidentally deleted. We're going to start by backing up our domain controller and we're going to use the Windows Server Backup utility to do that. Not necessarily something we would use in real world, but it's something that we can use very easily to back up Active Directory using a system state backup. I've already installed the feature. In tools, we'll simply select the backup. I'm going to make a local backup. And right now the system is checking to see what backups I have, which are none. I'm going to do a single backup, specify what options I want. It's not going to be a full backup. I'm going to customize that. And I need to select what I'm going to backup. So I'm going to add in system state and say OK. In real life, we would never back up to a local drive, but I'm going to do that just because it's very simple for the demonstration. So it's going to pick drive E by default. I'll say next and run the backup. Um, this is going to prepare uh, for the backup. It's going to have to go through and find all of the files and directories it's going to backup and then start actually running the backup. This is going to take a little while, so I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back when it's finished. Okay, the backup is now complete. And the next step is going to be to delete the org unit that we're going to restore. I have this organizational unit called Test Restore. And inside of that are two users and a group, which are also going to be deleted and restored. Before we do that, I want to take a quick look at the properties and note the USN, which is our sequence number. Uh, that's something that we're going to have to deal with and why we need the authoritative restore. Going to go ahead and delete. Say yes to that. Yes, I want to delete the subtree. And our org unit is now gone. So assuming that we do not have the recycle bin for Active Directory enabled, we now have to use backups to restore. And the backup that we just created is going to contain uh, that org unit and the subsequent users and group. Now, one of the things we're going to have to do to restore the backup is boot into directory services repair mode. And that's going to require rebooting the domain controller into safe mode. There are a couple of ways of doing that. One of them will be with the msconfig GUI tool. The other thing we can do is run from a command prompt, which I'm going to do. And we need this to be administrative level command prompt. All right, the first thing we want to do is configure the system to boot into safe mode when we boot it up. Our command for that is bcd edit, which changes the boot configuration. We're going to set safe boot and then directory services repair. And then the other thing we have to do is reboot. So again, we could use the GUI for that, but I'm going to use a quick command instead. So the command is shutdown, dash R is reboot, dash T is time, zero means now. I'll hit enter and then we'll wait for the system to boot back up again and we'll log back in. Okay, we're logged back in again. In this case, we have to log on with the local administrator account and use the DS repair password that was set when we created the domain controller when setting up our domain before. Notice that we can see that we are now in safe mode. What I'm going to do, first of all, is a system state recovery from the backup that we created just earlier. Again, I'm going to need command prompt. Don't need to worry about telling it administrative level because that's automatic since I'm logged on as administrator. First thing I want to do is find out what versions of backup we need because I need to know the version in order to restore. Command we use for that is wbadmin get versions. 
Again, I could use the GUI tool for this, but I'm not going to. We'll just look at how we do this with command line. All right, once it's finished searching, it will tell us all of the different backups that we've taken. In this case, we only have one. That is this one right here. And that information is important because that version identifier is what we use in order to do the restore. Again, I'm going to restore this using command line. Okay, here's the command we use. So again, WB admin, Windows Backup admin, start. We're going to do a system state recovery. And the version that we're going to recover is this one. And I see a slight typo, so let me fix that. There we go. And I'll hit enter, and this will go off and say, do you want to recover this? Yes, I do. Do I really want to do this? Yes, I do. And it's going to go and uh, recover our system state. It's going to take a little bit of time to do that, so we'll come back and look at the results once that's finished. Okay, so the store is now finished and it's prompting us to reboot, but we don't want to do that yet because we have to perform what's called an authoritative restore so that the system knows that we want to keep those records that were deleted before and not just simply have them deleted again. Notice that the only prompt to end this utility is yes, which would result in a reboot, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to press Control C and kill the application. Next part is actually performing the authoritative restore, which means, as I said before, we're going to tell it when we recovered certain Active Directory objects, specifically the ones that we deleted, that we do not want them to be deleted again, as that was the last status uh, for the backup. I'm going to use a utility called ntdsutil for that. And the first thing we're going to do is specify that we want to use the current instance of directory services. That's the command for that, activate instance in TDS. And the next thing we want to do is switch into authoritative restore mode. There's our command, authoritative restore. You can see the prompt now changed to the specific mode. And what we want to do is restore the org unit and all of the objects inside of that. Okay, here's our command for that. So restore. In this case, we're using subtree because we want to restore the org unit and all of the objects subordinate to the org unit. If I only wanted to restore the org unit or one of the users or something like that, I would not use the subtree component. The other thing we have to do is specify the object that we want to restore, and we use the distinguish name format for that. So OU equals test restore, DC equals class 8460, and DC equals local. Okay, hit enter. It says, do we want to perform? Yes, we do. And the clue that this actually worked was that we restored some number of records other than zero. And it also created uh, a log for us in a TXT file, and it also created an LDF in case we wanted to use that as an import. It's basically all we have to do for that. I'm going to exit out of the utility. And before we reboot, the last thing we want to do is configure the system so it will not start in safe mode again. Again, I could use the msconfig utility in the GUI, but I'll just do this very quickly with a command. Okay, there's our command, bcd edit, edit the boot config, delete value, what value are we gonna delete? Safe boot. So that's now reconfigured, and then we just have to do a reboot. So I'll do the same command as I did before. And we'll let this reboot, and then log on when we come back and see that we have restored our uh, org unit and the users and group. 
Okay, so we're booted back up. And since we went through a system state recovery operation, we get this message in a command window when the system is booted back up. Just press enter. And in order to see that we were successful, I'll open Active Directory Users and Computers. And expanding out our domain, we can now see the org unit, our two users, and our group that were there before. And one of the things that will end up happening is that we'll see the current sequence number USN is greater than the original one. This was incremented when we did the authoritative restore beyond what the value was when we deleted the org unit. And therefore, it will not be deleted now because we have a deleted status with the USN higher than the original one. And that is how we perform an authoritative restore on a deleted Active Directory object. Hopefully this video was helpful for you, and we'll see you next time.